Activate dance mode countdown. Flashback in the mix. In the mix. Hey, there we go. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. This is Phil. How are you? And welcome to I Love Nineties Beats. So um, we are very happy to have you here tonight, and we are proud to take you on this journey. So uh, let's begin right away with the music, because I'm so excited, and we have so many songs to, to go through. And the first one, it's an amazing one, and it's Baby Baby from Corona. So why don't you, Davide, tell us more about this song? I'm going to give you a little hit. I'm going to give you a little, you know, information about the songs this time. So Baby Baby, it's from Corona. It's a 1995 hit from an Italian group. It's actually Corona. It's the name of the group. It's not the name of the black girl. So that's the thing. Everybody thinks that Corona, it was her. But actually, she never sung in her whole life. <laughs> so she, she was just lip syncing for her life. And the real name is Olga Maria. She was a Brazilian girl. And uh, the group was uh, was from Italy, like I said. And uh, this is the second single of uh, of their album, The Rhythm of the Night. And he made a number one in Italy, Israel, Canada, and on the Europe dance chart. So it was like a huge, huge, huge hit. So here we go now with Baby Baby Corona. Yeah, we're warming up, we're warming up tell the you how we the songs. Like, tell us your memories about these songs that you listened to. Like, where were you? What were you doing, if you remember it? I mean, we're going we're gonna to share our memories try and do the same. So write down comments and let us know. So think about, you think about your memories. Think about your memories. Tell us later. Write it on a on a comment or anything. Let's go. Let's keep up with the music and let's go to the second song, which it's even better than the first one. So okay, 
it's one of my favorite on it's still one of my favorite right, right now nowadays so the next song is sweet dreams of rhythm and dancing la bouche tell us something about la bouche fast because we want to go to the music next song it's actually sweet dreams like phil gave it away from la bouche it's a 1995 single and the band it's american and german this time they do sing for real so melanie and lane were actually the the two guys uh, the singer and the rapper so um mm -hmm. she made a number one in easily netherlands sweden finland and germany and of course in usa and it's the first single from the album sweet dreams so here we are sweet dreams la bouche <laughs> So guys, uh, any memories on this song? I would remember I was like uh, finishing uh, finishing high school, something like that, getting into high school and going out uh, and you know getting my first experiences with uh, you know with the boys. But tell us tell us your experience and you know if I will ask and you will do tell. So let's move let's move to the next one. The next one it's one another it's another no. <laughs> Because this is a dirty experience, I don't want to know it. <laughs> so now let's move to the next one. We will, we will, we will keep, we will keep, we will keep because yep, you, you have another experience with another song. So then right. another one. So we will keep it for the next one. One man. The next one. The next one is uh, "Missing" by Everything But the Girl. 
What what is the deal with this one, David? Yeah. So uh, missing it's by the group called Everything But the Girl, and it's a uh, English duo. This is actually their eighth album, but nobody cared about the other ones because actually they became famous for us in this part of Europe with this actually particular song. So missing. It's from 1996, and it actually won Best International Act at the Viva Comet Awards. So it's a huge accomplishment for this song. I have the memory of my life with this song. So here we go with Missing with Everything But the Girl. And yes. Hi girl, so we're there. This is not I'm walking down your street oh, again. I see my body there. Okay. Uh, but you don't live there I anymore. He says he's you there. Hello girl. Hey girl, hey girl. Yes, I love, I love, I love this song. And so let's move to the next one. This is actually, I know that it's, it's actually a song that wasn't, wasn't from the 90s, 90s. It was just, a, you know, in between the two decades. And I think this is a song that you really, really like. I'm talking about Rich in Paradise by the FBI Project. Tell us something about those ones instead. Yeah, I'm gonna say about Rich in Paradise. So you do not want to listen to my memories about the songs. We got that. You don't want me to say it. 
No, we want to know about this one, the next one coming. Good one. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Anyway, so the next song, like, well, like, like Bill said, it's going to be rich in paradise. Then some of us might know it with going back to my roots because basically it has a sample of going back to my roots into it and by the FBI projects. So guess where they were from? FBI projects. Italy once again. So this is an 89 song, but like I said, the 90s do not start in 1990 and do not end in the 2000s. It's a little bit of... So even if it's 89, it's 90. It's the perfect style. So this song, like I said, it's 80, 80, um, 1989, sorry. And it's a remix of a song from 77, all right? Going back to my roots. That was featuring Lamont Several. Anyway, um, there's a sample. There's a sample of uh, four different tracks in it. So it's a really, it's a really like experimental song for that time. And it's it's an example of what we call Italo dance, Italo house fusion of house music and Italo disco. So here we go. Rich in Paradise, FBI project.
Let's say you put it on and you have sex and do you have any memory for this one? Can I say yeah, this, you, this? I'm gonna say I'm gonna shut up everyone. You so you this is actually the first ever listen when I walked down for the first time down in a club. Alright? I was I was 14 and I went to the club by bus. That's it. So this is how I met <laughs> the disco life. <laughs> You went there and you got this song and you started. Oh, I got there and I... oh my god, oh my god, this is what I'm going to be doing oh, for yeah, the rest of yeah. my life. <laughs> let's, get to, let's get to the let's get to the next one because I mentioned this one is a really, really really like I think this is like later in the nineties. Like, uh, um, yeah, you you probably you will uh, agree with me. This is later in the nineties, and the song, the next one, is "Open Your Mind" by. The, the group that is called Uzura. Tell us the story about this group. Oh, it's not that, baby. It's not that. We have another one before. We oh, actually, two. it's true. We have seen. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to make a missed up. Sorry, guys. This is the live, live shows are a mess. No, the next song is Sing Hallelujah. It's actually one of my it, top it, it, three songs. Sorry. It's uh, Sing Hallelujah by Dr. Alban, which is uh, one of my top three songs from that. Oh. that yeah, that decade. Okay. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you need to rehearse, baby, at home. So this is a 1993 song by the Sweden-based musician, Dr. Alban. Actually, his real name is Alban Uzoma Mpapa, <laughs> and he was from Zimbabwe. But anyway, um, he made it, it's a third single of the second album, One Love, and he made it number two, it didn't score number one, but he made it number two in Finland uh, at at its highest level. Never never made a number one, but we love it so much because he makes us want to dance all the time. So here we go with Sing Hallelujah, Dr. <laughs> song oh my god i used to sing it when i was going to the beach what
We done? I love this song, I love this song. So, yeah. We are gonna go to the next one. We are gonna go to the next one. And this one, I know you have something to deal with. You had like a big, um, a big uh, adventure on this next song. We're gonna go with Ride Like the Wind from the East Side Beat. Tell us about this one. Tell us about um, In and Out. Yeah, so Ride Like the Wind Beat is the song that they made for me because when I, you know, when I was used to go to the beach on a scooter, I was just riding in the wind with this song, like full blaster and just going and be happy and just every time just, I don't know, I listened to this song 20,000 times. Anyway, Ride Like the Wind by the East Side Beat. It's a 1991 song. And again, oh my God, believe it or not, it's an Italian group, but I swear to God, I didn't know. <laughs> It's an Italian dance group, um, and he remixed this original from the 80s. And um, there are actually several mixes, which, I don't know, we picked up one. I don't even know which one at this point. But anyway, he made a number four in Belgium, Spain, Ireland, and number three in UK. If you care to know, the voice that sings it, it's called Fanini. It's a guy that used to sing <laughs> below the song so anyway right like the wind by the east side beat now on i love the 90s there we go the song <laughs> We said before we have different types of things that are copyright and purpose they're gonna cut us off mentally so one. So we have to go and dig dig down into music history to find something so obvious and copyrighted. Next one. I love it. So guys, I will remind you that you can follow us 
on uh, okay, actually not follow us join us on the zoom chat room 98 70 56 1883 the room number that you find down below here so uh let's move on to the next one which is definitely going to be very excited about this one too and i actually got excited about it before as well <laughs> now finally we get to the song that i really wanted to play before which is open your mind by the the, the, the group called Uzura. And why is it called Uzura, Davide? This funny story because basically Uzura comes from uh, one of the guys that um, were part of the group. Uh, his mom was called Ursula. And I don't know how, I don't know True what story. they were on, but I want the same. From Ursula's mother, they came out with Usura which is the name of the group. Now, um, it's of course again an Italian group <laughs> because, you know, so the guy Giacomo was the one that had the mother called Ursula. And um, it's a 1993 song from the album Open Your Mind. And he made a number two in Italy and Finland. And um, there, there's some sample in the song, some sample from the movie. Uh, do you guys remember Total Recall, the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the 90s? Well, anyway, from that movie, there's some dialogue which is being sampled into this song. So open your mind, Uzura. Open there we go. Mind. You say In the video, one of the first examples of war. So, for the face of the city, I will not be able to Oh, oh. oh my god, look at this! Oh my god! 
Open your mind. Oh, yeah. open your mind. Oh, and something else you can open yeah. as well. Oh, <laughs> uh, I used to love that song. We just got our friend, a beautiful friend, and Slater, such a beautiful person, inside and outside, and made our nice night, oh, our night better. Yeah. Can we, can have we have keep a... him with us the whole time? Yeah, put it, the, put it in the put it in the baby. Oh, well, we cannot do that. <laughs> We have to keep we have to keep going, David. We have to keep going. Let's keep going. So you're you're the best thing. Uh, Rim is the next song. It's our next song. You're the yes, best it thing. Is. Tell us about this this new song. Yeah. So um you're the best thing. Thank you, I know. <laughs> you shouldn't do that, but yeah, I know. It's this is this is the nineteen ninety. Right, and it's thank you, thank you. <laughs> anyway, the guy that actually made it, it's a group called The Dream. And it's the debut single of these, uh, it's an Irish group. And they, they made a number three in Scotland, so it's kind of regional. <laughs> they made, you know, they made a number three in Scotland and number four in UK. But the 1993 remix, which it's not what we're going to listen tonight because we couldn't. But anyway, that remix made it number one on the Hot Dance Club Play Billboard in USA. So anyway, now I don't know which version are we going to look at. But here is You're the Best Thing by Dream.
That was a good song uh, by Dream. Oh, oh, oh. Now let's, it's time to set everybody free. It's time to set everybody free, especially myself. But I'm always being free. I mean, this next song is Everybody Free from Rosala. Rosala, yeah, that was a really, really good song. I still remember nowadays the exact place where I was at when I heard the song first. So tell us something curious about this one. Do, do tell, because not with there any memory of us. You can just do tell where, where the I'm waiting for the second. I'm waiting for the second you. off. I'm waiting for the second off. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so we're going to go with everyone. Everybody's free by Rosala. Actually, Rosala, it's her first name. And Miller was the last name. <laughs> and she is from Zimbabwe. But of course, she moved out of it <laughs> to follow her career. So in 1991, from the same album, Everybody's Free, um, this is the second single, and it went up to number one in USA into the Hot Dance Club play, and also number one in Europe. So here we are with Everybody's Free, Rosala. Thank you. 
Next yeah, song, that next was, song. That oh was, my that God, was Rosanda, amazing. well done. Yeah. Wow, that was a good, good one. Can we, can we just say, I'd like to tell the girl that she's hired, whatever, whatever she's, she's hired for the next episode. <laughs> I, my friend David wants to know, where did you get the corset? Because he wants one exactly the same in silver with uh, XXL. You know? Yeah, I but That's the size. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Wow, honey. <laughs> Work it out. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Don't let it go. I mean, uh, well, oh well, my god, this, the this, next song. Ooh, the next god. song is perfect. It's perfect for our little friend in the middle. It's called Strike It Up from Black Box, if you know what I mean. So, what, David, what's Black Box? Okay, so, this is it's one of my favorites. I have a few. This is one of mine. It's a 1990 song. And again, Black Box, that's where they were from, from Italy. I told you, I mean, in 1990, Italy ruled the dance scene. So just get used to it, all right? They're all Italians. So anyway, the 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 album, uh, it's called Dreamland. And this is like the second, uh, the second single, uh, Strike It Up. And... Um, now there's a little curiosity i need to tell you about this so on the cover okay the cover girl that everyone thought was actually the singer she was not the singer it was just a model from france called catherine Kinol. <laughs> that she didn't even know how to sing but they were using this beautiful girls like you baby just like you to have you know the front girl and then they were just lip syncing just like corona and all of the others so anyway the voice of the the group Black Box, the voice is actually Marta Walsh. But unfortunately, back then, they had different uh, different regulation and thought. So Marta Walsh was a bit overweight, a bit overweight. So she could she wasn't allowed to appear on TV. That's why she was just making voices for one of, for, for, for all of the super hit dance uh music uh groups and bands and whatever but it's sad because most of the time she didn't get any credits and any royalty for the song that she was singing even though she has such a powerful voice so anyway sorry marta but we're gonna feature you tonight because we love you no matter where you are and how curvy you are <laughs> Can I say that? so here we are with strike it up black box the survey is good. Survey, baby. Survey. Get some. While it's fresh. While it's hot.
Oh my god, I love Strike It Up. There we go. No, 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 no. A little friend just has a chick. A little bad girl just had a, like a, a change of clothes. Make me leave. Oh my god, I want those wings as well. Well, let's go. Let's keep to the next song. Oh my god, this is it's professional. My, my that's my number one of all time. I love, love, love. Oh Thank my God! So this song, I specifically, I specifically choose this song for you, my darling. For yeah, you, because this because song I is know. the quintessential meaning because of going out. Uh, it's the quintessential giving and working out, giving and ready, getting ready, going out, having fun. Eh? So the title couldn't be either than Saturday Night from Whitfield. Exactly. So Saturday night is feel favorite song, and uh, again, it's an Italian project, but it was from uh, it was dated 1984 song, and it was a hit all over the world. It made it number one in several countries, with Italy, Germany, Ireland, Spanish, Spain, sorry, Sweden, Finland, and UK, and she got the platinum. There you go. Saturday Night Wakefield I think I'm gonna do a change of clothes like the, our little friend. Our little friend. She had a change of clothes. I'm gonna have one too. I think. Yeah. It's the next me. one is something. Oh my God, we, we're not getting knows. much better. Yeah, the next one is not gonna be an easier one. So I just gotta say a <laughs> fast. This song, I remember I was listening to this song when my with my portable CD player, something that does not exist anymore now, but I had it. 
and I was in the subway, 34th Street, waiting for my subway in New York, 94, when I was living in New York. That's my memory about this song. I eat. Oh, and by the way, tell us things and objects that do not exist anymore now. Like, for instance, we had the Tamagotchi that doesn't exist anymore. We had the Game Boy that doesn't exist. So tell us things that you remember. They're long gone, all right? So move on into the next song. We have What is Love? How do I know? <laughs> so anyway, it's a song. And we made it number one in 13 countries. And think about it. Then. Let's move up to the next one. The next Let's one. move on to the. This is like you know. Oh my! Like, this is for you, Phil. This is. Yeah. Yeah. So... This is. I have memories of my first sex act. You know, I was starring in it. I was featured. I was featuring. I was everything. I was like, you know, I was. I was fourteen years old. I mean. <laughs> that, that yeah. A little bit more. Or then and or now. <laughs> oh my god, yes. So, this so anyway, this song next is song, that, it's probably it's still my favorite. Bass. My still, my still, my favorite group, Ace of Bass, and the song is actually "All oh, That She Wants." I think it's their, you know, their first song, their first single. And when I heard it, I went off the hook. Oof. Well, of course, so, because the single it's about a woman that wants it all. So you know you. Felt related to it, I guess, right? So the description of so yourself. Anyway, this is a 1992 song, Swedish group, and um, the Ace of Base was from Sweden, and it's basically they're they're they were known as the second ABBA, if you want to, you know, and um, the second single from the first album, which was called Happy Nation, and it's a reggae pop song. The style is reggae pop. They, they actually invented and um, it's about a, a woman, like I said, it wants basically all. 
That's why Phil relates to it. And it was a mega hit for several years. He made it number one in Australia, Austria, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Germany, Greece, Italy, Spain, UK, like more than 13 countries in total. And he, he stayed for nine Emma, years. Emma Desmond, you were number one in the USA. So, <laughs> so here we are, with. all that she wants, Ace of Ace. Oh, there we go. All oh, that she wants. It was no. me in the 92. No. It was me in 92. Yeah. So, no, next one. Okay, this is yours. It's all yours. Go ahead. Take it. Next Do you guys remember the Technotronics? Well, I do. So this is Pump Up the Jam by the Technotronic, which is actually 8089. It's 8089, but like I said, it's still the 90. And uh, the group is from Belgium. And um, the song itself was originally called Technotronic. But then when they were making it, they decided to call the group Technotronic and the song Pump the Jam. So <laughs> the voice is Melissa, and um, she was replaced. Technotronic voice, Melissa, she was replaced after a few singles because probably, I don't know, she got pregnant, she needed to go home. Anyway, made a number one in Belgium and um, Germany, Netherlands, Sweden, UK, US, all over. So here we are with Technotronic Bump Up the Jam.
So here we are back at a oh, studio. Bump, bump the jam, bump it up. Bump it up, baby. Bump it up, bump it up. Oh my, oh my god! I remember I was like, you didn't even know that well English. I was like, I don't even remember. I was, I, used, I think I used to sing it with the wrong words. I don't even want to sing it right now, but like, it was not that fine. Yeah. So um. Oh yeah. Next one. Do you remember? Do you remember that song, Horny Ninety Eight? From Musti. I do remember. I've actually, I've actually find a good remix that I'm that I have like selected for this for this afternoon. So why don't you tell us about some, something about this Musti girl? Absolutely. <laughs> so, Musti, whatever. So no, do it again. Do it again. Wait. Absolutely. Whatever. Anyway, so Orny 98 is a song from uh, DJ producer Musti that joined forces with the hip hop group called Hot and Juicy. There were two girls. In fact, the voice is from Hot and Juicy. Um, Nadine Einaya, if you really want to know. It's a 1998 song and um, uh, the original, uh, it was called Horny Track because actually it was just an instrumental track, but it didn't you know, it didn't make it. I mean, not a great success. So they added the voices and he, he, he came out to be Horny 98. And so after that, he became a super hit. So here we go with Horny 98.
There we go. That was there we go. Horny that was horny. didn't make me horny at all, but probably it was just, you know, I don't know. Maybe we're like other times. <laughs> Somebody else anyway. was horny for sure. Was anyway, sure. let's on. go to another song that I really, that, that I remember that memory in Australia watching for the first time this video, that's actually video, this movie where the song was actually the soundtrack. So from the soundtrack of Priscilla, the Queen of the, of the, Queen of the Desert, we have finally from Cece Peniston. Yes, her name is Cece, that in, in Italian means chickpea. Anyway, okay. il Cece. <laughs> it's, a, it's a 1991 song, but the movie is actually 94. So the soundtrack that we're talking about, it's a 94. It's a debut single by this American musician called Cece Peniston and uh, made a number one at the US Dance Club songs, made a number one in Canada and Zimbabwe, if we care to know. <laughs> and she got the gold in USA and the silver in UK. So here we are with finally.
Oh my god, yes. I live for there this song. There we go. And, and you know who I live mostly for? For our little friend, Wonderbat Woman. That was fierce. Wonderbat Woman. Yes, yes. That takes us to the next song, which is actually now we're getting the last four songs, uh, one after the other. Oh, yes, dreams. So the first one is Show Me Love by Robin S. Which is still a remix that I found, uh, you know, looking, looking, looking yeah. to avoid copyrights because Facebook stops us from playing original songs. So we had to find a way around it to bring you this program. And we found it. So, David, tell us about something, you know, something about Robin well, S and this song. Um, Show Me Love by Robin S. Her real name, uh, S stands for Stone, because her name was Robin Stone. <laughs> It's a 1993 song and by Robin, which is an American singer, and uh, she made a number five in USA. So actually, she didn't score number one, but for some reason, we liked it better in Europe. And um, it was a huge hit. I mean, to today's, we all remember uh, Show Me Love. So here we are, Robin S. What happened to the music? We don't know, but we, we can move to another no. one. No problem, no but problem. The final and three, you know. these are the final three songs for tonight. I love so our tonight. final three. Our final three start with uh, another song, which is actually uh, a song that saw the use of a technology that we use nowadays way too often. 
So now everybody yep. is a singer. So, you know, anybody can fart then, on the microphone and make a song. He was uh, the pioneer. But she actually used it very well. So give it up for Believe from Cher. Exactly, my baby. So we, like, towards the end of the 90s, actually in 1998, to be precise, Cher came out with this, uh, let's say, second era album. And she made it from the from the pop rock that she was used to uh, actually do to the dance pop. And she had several uh, number one things with this, with this album. First of all, she reached number one in 20 country all over the world. And then like Phil said, it was the first example of the use of the auto tune. So now everyone now sings thanks to the auto tune. But back then she already, she already had a voice. She already done the hair hers, you know? So she got the voice and they added the auto tune to it to do the thing like this, that, you know, it's now known as the Cher effect. Anyway, with this song, Miss Cher, she made it into the, um, into the book of, uh, the Guinness Book of World Records as the oldest female artist to be top into the Billboard Hot 100 chart, and it's been the highest selling single in UK. So give it up for Cher, the one and only.
Ibrahim, 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 You know when you actually something. sing long and you think like you're a great singer and then the music stops and then it's you yeah, singing like, like triangle cat, that, that, yeah. that's me basically. Yeah, that's like every nice. time you play, you, you, you sing out of the shower, which is not very nice. Uh, but I mean, yeah, I uh, that's... when I sing mean, long, I think like, I think I'm fierce, so, so you know. Yeah, sounds like a goat. Well, so, <laughs> next, next song, singers. now that we're talking about Guinness of, you know, the records and blah, 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 blah. We talked about Cher, and I mean, she is huge, and I really, you know, admire her for being there for like ever. She's still there, and she's like that salad you leave in the fridge and it's still alive <laughs> once you come back from a tour. Like, you know, how many times I left a, a, like a bunch of salads in the fridge, and I come back after a month and it's still alive. That's Cher. <laughs> you know, no. So after her, what? But this next have- artist, this next artist that we have on the list is actually for me. You know, she's the queen of everything. So the next song I'm proud to present in a version that I found to avoid copyright, Vogue from Madonna. Yeah, exactly. So we're going back to the 1990s, right at the beginning. And the, um, not many of you might know, but actually Vogue was featured in the album I Am Breathless. And uh, it was the soundtrack of a movie that she made at that time called Dick Tracy. So anyway, 1990s, and it was inspired by the voguing movement and the houseball community in Harlem, back in New York. He made a number one in 30 countries around the world and is the world best-selling single in 1990 with over 6 million copies. So here we go. Folk, folk, folk. Yes, that was like Madonna. Our... Please don't sue us for this for the usage of your music. We really wanted to give you a tribute of what a hugeness you were. Please, I have no money to pay for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have nothing. Well, um, 
next song and it's our final song to say goodbye to you and thank you for being with us it's a song that will you know forever it's a little melancholic for me and it's you know the perfect way of closing down everything we really really yeah. thank you for being here with us this is ooh, this was our first appointment with the with this kind of show with every thursday night me and this one on the on the right uh we are going to take you on a journey through a different decade every week so this we started with the 90s because for us it was the most iconic and uh um, we hope you liked it we are sorry for any you know little mistake and imperfection from the first uh live show but we'll try to make it up to you in the next one and, and if you have any song that you'd like to hear from us next week which is going to take us to the 80s please let us know in our comments or by message tell us if you like the the show if we any there's anything that we can do better if we excelled i mean uh, i'll let david oh, tell oh, you the oh, so, oh, but like now moving on to this last track so closing up our love 90s tonight this is probably yeah what well, my second favorite song okay the first one was like um back to my roots but this one is my second best favorite it's called music by dj fargetta fargetta was an italian dj producer and in 1992 came up with this amazing song and um the voice is actually a british singer singer sorry called marie schmidt and um if you care to know, it was originally from Jamaica. Anyway, this is music by Fargeta. There we go. Enjoy, guys. I want everyone hands up in the air right now.
my heart and my music was music was love, not love, and this... it would be my last music. Nice. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I got taken by the emotions. I'm full of emotions. I'm full of emotions. I'm trying to embarrass I'm full of emotions. myself. So you know. again, thank you, thank you for follow, thank you for coming and seeing us and enjoying a little show, a little gathering. Uh, don't forget to follow us on our channels. Uh, it's um, Facebook Unlock Beats, uh, Instagram the same Unlock Beats, Twitch Unlock Beats, and YouTube. It's um, let me think Unlock Beats again. <laughs> so, yes, yes. So, Unlock Beats. See you next week at the same time on Thursday night when, with with uh, this bitch over here. David Leroy there. and myself for a new decade and, uh, and we'll take you on our time machine back to the 80s. Bye guys, back don't to forget the don't forget the and the hair. That's big the hair. Pat, pat, pat it up. Put it up, big it's hair. Lots of hair.